Hello everybody, this is Ryan, also known as Miss My MCD, and in this video I'm going to be giving my impressions on Skulls of the Shogun for Xbox Live Arcade on the Xbox 360. Developed by 17-bit and published by Microsoft Studios, Skulls of the Shogun is a turn-based strategy action game that has you commanding various warriors on the battlefield with a good mixture of tongue-in-cheek dialogue, eye-catching graphics, and a very pick-up-and-play approach to the genre that harpens back to previous generations of gaming, with depth unfolding as you play. The trial was roughly 210 megabytes, and within that you get to undergo two missions in the campaign, as well as try one of the multiplayer options which so happens to be a four-player local offering. Right when I was playing this game, I wasn't sure what to expect. Skulls the Shogun was a game I heard from now and then on various gaming websites, and I heard a lot of it being tied with Windows 8, but now the title was fine on Xbox Live Marketplace in the form of a downloadable Xbox Live Arcade game, and I have to say, this game is a surprisingly amount of fun. I'm not the biggest fan of turn-based games or even strategy games in general, but Skulls of the Shogun is a very easy to pick up and play game, and I really like that feature about it. It's so easy to pick up and play because it's not overly complicated, you don't have to manage many units, nor do you have to think about so many solutions, and whilst that might sound like Skulls of the Shogun doesn't have a lot of depth, you would be very wrong indeed. The first mission of the campaign teaches you the basics of the game as you expect, and it's very easy to get to grips with. For every type of unit, there's a white ring surrounding them that you can move around at will, but any enemies outside that ring cannot be attacked unless they're on the very edge. You can attack enemies by getting close and pressing the X button or fire with an archer. The health is indicated with a little flag on everybody's back, and can be raised even higher if you manage to kill someone and eat their skull. Eating skulls as weird and gross as that sounds is important to the game, and you won't just increase your health by 2 points, but you will also restore your general health by 3 HP points, which can really change the tide of battle. As I mentioned earlier, the archer can attack from afar, and just as you expect, each unit has a special ability with them. Warriors typically deal a lot more damage, monks can heal and cast spells, and your cavalry can move further to the battlefield than anyone else. And along with every class is a different attack and defense stat, so keep an eye on that before attacking. There are other mechanics I can mention, such as the whole rice currency gimmick and the selection of spells, but how do you actually win in Skulls of the Shogun? Well, there are two ways. You can either kill the enemies on screen or kill the enemy Shogun, but the latter is not an easy feat. Trying to kill the Shogun can really be a pain in the backside because not only is he the most powerful character on the battlefield, he can eat skulls just like everyone else to get even stronger, he can use two moves in one turn and he has a very high attack and defense stat. But he can be stopped, just like your Shogun. Once he's gone, it's game over and you have to start the mission from the beginning again. But even though before I recorded this gameplay I died maybe twice or so, I still kept playing. I kept playing because Skulls of the Shogun is a very rewarding game. There's so many different ways you can go about things and it's great and it's fast paced enough to not bore me with what's going on screen. You have 5 turns to make per round and when the animations come in it happens so fast that it can really keep you on the edge of your seat and bring out plenty of holy crap moments. Especially when the enemies destroy your Shogun out of nowhere. But what really keeps me going is the witty dialogue. During that side of battle, your army if you want to call them that, will start saying all kinds of weird little quotes and they're not just interesting but actually quite funny to read as well. It has charm and that shows in the art style, it's very cartoony, it doesn't take itself too seriously in the slightest and when there's so many serious games around today it's nice to have you know a little break from that and go back to some of the good old fashioned cartoony fun. The only real complaint I have with Skulls of the Shogun is that when you transition from the first mission to the second in the trial you have a new class of enemy, the monk, there's a rice currency gimmick, the summoning of more allies and it's not really explained how that really works, you just gotta ball it and figure it out yourself and I don't like being hand holding in my games with loads of prompts and text boxes but one or two would have been nice in this instance. Overall Skulls of Shogun is a very charming little game that I think you should really try out. It's got a lot of flavour and wit to it and what sells the game more than anything else to me is the fact that it's so easy to pick up and play. You could probably give the game to one of your mates who doesn't even play games at all and within 2 or 3 minutes they know what they're doing and they can really enjoy it. Give the trial a go with a link in the description and don't forget to subscribe for more impressions videos. Thanks for watching.